Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Katie Moonchild's World. I'm Katie, and this is Saturday Solutions. We come together here to hopefully, uh, if I can get this to lift up just a little bit, try to get this all in the shot for you, and it's hard. Anyway, welcome. Welcome to Saturday Solutions, where we talk about what we've been going through and hopefully try to find some solutions for our emotions and the situation we find ourselves in. Been quite a week. Um, so much happened this week, I don't think I can even keep track of it all. Between um, natural disasters and political disasters and scientific ones that don't make any sense to have even happened um been quite a week quite a week so this is a spiritual reading once in a while because what happens in our lives politics and that kind of thing and if is effective it affects our spirit it affects our state of mind and our mood so sometimes Politics will wander into this reading, but it is not a focus. So, on that note, let's get started. This is for entertainment purposes only. And it's for my beautiful subscribers and those of you who have just happened to stop by. I hope you find peace and some calm, some reassurance and a little inspiration, maybe. Anyway, let's get started. The first card that we look at now, I am using a spread that I've created. It is called the Balanced Horizon Spread because that's what we want. We want to live in a balanced horizon, right? Over here, we have the sunset position. I'm explaining to you all these cards and why they lay like they do. <laughs> this is the sunset position. This is the east. This is also our past. Okay. It's our past. It's today. It's the week. Okay. This is our sun rise position. It is our dreams and goals of the future. In the center, we have the blue card is the enchanted map which is basically the process, um, directions, instructions maybe, of how to get from today to focusing on the dreams of tomorrow. What is crossing the map is our level of awareness. That is seeing how well can you see the path in front of you some of us can't even see the path some of us are still looking for it then we will have i'm trying to find the card oh our chakra card here this tells us we've got a chakra blocked I will tell you what information goes with that chakra and uh, what you need to know to do to unblock it. We arrive at the valleys. Now, you know, in the horizon, it can be deceiving because what looks like flat land can have a valley or a dip or a canyon in it that you cannot see. This is our message from Gaia. Why she gives us that message is because she wants us to shout it from the mountain in the north. The highest peaks of the north is where we will get our messages from ancestors, guides, and the elementals. 
like the fairies. Today's card happens to be a fairy card. Over here, <clears throat> we have the inspiration. What is the one word to focus on and the actions that will help you to focus on that word in your inspirational? That is a message. It's just kind of a general message from spirit. Um, pitfall, maybe. Um, I don't know. This is my deck cards I created. We have one word card and two action cards. And finally, at the end of the reading, I send you on your way with some inspiration and add a boy from the therapist deck. So are we ready? This is to put you back on that message of continuing your personal growth. We know it's not easy. This is what Spirit's saying. We know it is not easy for you to grow. Effective growth is never easy for effective growth to take a, in what it needs to grow and be effective. It must make certain things that no longer work go away. Herein lies your uncomfortableness. Now, let's get started. We begin with, hmm, hmm, where we are. This is our current situation. This is today and this is our past. We have been all in that lower energy, lower world darkness for decades, for cycles and for turnings. There's been sparks of light here and there, and we see a healing on the horizon. But getting there, oh, what a process getting there is. And you see that mountain right there? That's this guy. That's this guy. And we got to go up clear to the top of that to shout this message from the mountaintops. How do you do that when you are so down here in the lower world? Oh, woe is me. The world is so dark. Is this the end of times? It might be the end of what you're used to. But you know what? You've lived through that. You lived through that often in the very recent past. Uh, our whole world changed when uh, the pandemic arrived on the scene. So that changed us. And as we heal from that and heal from the repercussions of what was done out of negligence, and corruption during that time. We have to climb that mountain. That's our awareness. And it's way off on the horizon. Way off on the horizon. So this card is our card for the sunrise. It's the card of tomorrow. It's the future. Oh my. And once again, we get the hollow bone. We're gonna, those who are not teachable will remain in the lower world. They will not see the happiness the light and the shift. They will not be a part of the ascension because they are stuck in the darkness of the lower world. They don't even know the ascension is happening. 
They don't even know there's a shift. Shift? What are you talking about? <clears throat> You're talking about Adam? <laughs> Sorry. That's shift, not shift. <laughs> they don't even know. So many humans have a primitive, such a primitive way of thinking that getting out of this lower world is a something that you just find it incapable of doing on their own. They have to be guided loudly. Thus, you hear a lot from the hollow bone. Just know there is truth behind the teachings of what you hear, what you feel in your gut. Not what is spouted to you over and over and over again to try to make you think and feel something that <laughs> you're not feeling. And they're not listening to you when you tell them how you're feeling. So that shuts down their teachability. It shuts down adaptability and it keeps you in darkness. Maybe that's the dark night of the soul. There's a lot of us that are in the dark night of the soul. Know that dark night of the soul is a part of spiritual healing and it's okay. It's not fun to go through, but it is a part of the process. So, first thing we look at in this one is the map. How do we get from being all in the darkness and low energy and fear of the lower world to hearing the hollow bone that is teaching us how to move on, how to reach <coughs> pardon me <coughs> for the stars and the future. We go to our golden place. You know, we've been here before. It's the hall of records. You may call it your Akashic record if you'd like. <laughs> if you would like, you can call it the Akashic record. But it is a golden place of knowledge. It is the place of growth. It's a climb to find it. But once you're there, the light and the enlightenment never goes away. Until you choose to rest. But that light and enlightenment is always working, always going, always functioning. Now, you're asking, if we have access to this place, and this is where we have to go to find our teachability, why are we in such an obstacle place that is such an opposite, so dark, with such low energy. If that is where we are, and this is where we want to be, and this is the path to get there, I'm sorry, but uh, if you can't find that path to climb here to these records, to that knowledge and enlightenment, that's a matter of your awareness, your connection. Which, uh, yeah, our awareness is community. You will find what you need to find to get to that record and then that, that enlightenment. So you are teachable by reaching out to the community. There's a community available out there to teach you 
to show you the way. But unless you reach out to them and are aware they're even there, this kind of enlightenment that never wanes, it never goes away, seems like a pipe dream. If you're trying to do it all by yourself down here in the lower world, working through your dark night of the soul. Just know that the goal is to be able to speak your truth as a teacher because you have been teachable. Because you reached out to the teachers in the community who have given you and who will give you the awareness that you need to make this climb to that golden light bright golden light of enlightenment wow there's something wrong here there's something you notice this it's, it's like hoppy skippy jumpy like well maybe you should do some clarifier cards or you know what's the deal here so as a clarifier card I have the Neoteric Tarot. I want to know, please, a clarifier on the lower world and a clarifier on community. We get what we're supposed to do and where we're supposed to go, but how do we know what part of the community <clears throat> is not focused still on remaining in the lower world? How do we know? So clarify, what is the lower world and what's this, why are we there? First off, we want to prosper. Look at the King of Pentacles. We want to prosper. We want to move ahead. We want progression in our lives. But we have to have a foundation for that because once you get all that abundance, all the abundance that you're dreaming of, you have to know how to use it properly and not squander it and not use it in corrupt ways. Use it for the best of the whole community. Community. What can you tell us about this community and the teachers you're telling us to seek? Are these mystical teachers? Are they university teachers? Are they <clears throat> just wise teachers? This is interesting. The card that I got. It's telling us if you don't reach out to the community. For whatever teacher comes forward. Because spirit is in charge. Of what teacher is to come to you when. You got the three of swords. When you're reaching out to the community, be wary. Be wary of those that may betray you. Be mindful of the things that are not as they appear. And that is why you need community and teachers because you will get the clarity that you need to see through the betrayal. Is it truly a betrayal or a release? Wow. So apparently we got a shocker blocked. We always do. I mean, that happens as we stumble around and bumble around through life. 
this chakra is coming from the prism oracle i should tell you the names of the decks i've used so far this deck this deck is the mystical shaman deck by colette baron reed it is our sunset card this enchanted maps deck by colette baron reed is our enchanted map card this the wisdom oracle by colette baron reed in the awareness position and finally we have our hopes and dreams in the future with the shaman, shaman's dream oracle deck by colette baron reed this is the oracle prism let's see what we got that's telling us about our our chakra oh it's not giving us a specific chakra it's telling us to work on our confidence wow wow i haven't used this deck very much so i'm going to make sure i get this right for you all i will be using it more as i'm being told so i'm going to give you what that is that's a black card it's a combination of all of the chakras oh my gosh we're out of balance in all of them feeling uncomfortable are you feeling a little puzzled and a little what do i do what's happening yeah because your confidence isn't fixed it wanes it's something that we constantly have to work on to build hence the dark night of the soul over here in the lighter world i mean in the lower world this is something that we constantly are working on is our confidence throughout our whole lives no one is completely and fully confident if they come across to you like that i suggest you look at them as a narcissist in a this card is significant it's the right time to start working with and enhancing your sense of self-confidence how can you build more confidence in your life in a meaningful way i want you to do me a favor put in the confidence confidence put in the comments sorry what you plan to do this week to help build your confidence what are you going to tell yourself about how much you love yourself now i want you to sit down make a list look in the mirror make a list make a list of those strengths that are yours and yours alone that people come to you because you have them do that today as a saturday thing it's a solution and as you go through the week this coming week look at that list see the areas where maybe you're betraying yourself by not joining a community consulting a community just being a part of life you don't find confidence by being separate and divided alone and comparing yourself with others when you don't even know those others because there's no way one person to an ex that we can see the details of each of our individual lives this is why i tell you every video i make to be kind to one another for we are all 
on a path that is uncomfortable. We all want the same thing. We want stability in our lives. We want love. And we want peace. And we want harmony. And yes, I am proud to say that is very, very woke. Now, when you look at the horizon, what do you see? Is it flat? No. You have mountains and valleys. One is extremely obvious and is an obst is very, very obstinate. It's high. It can be hard to um, go over. Sometimes it's necessary to go around. The other is the same. Could it be because it is the inversion of the mountain as a valley? That is where flow can collect. It is also hidden from you. But it can look like a completely flat horizon of awareness. Can all of a sudden whoop, have a pitfall into a valley. Well, the guardian in this reading of the valley is our beautiful goddess Gaia. And what the heart card is telling us today is to know, like, I know you don't believe, most of us don't believe it, you're sacred. You are sacred. Every speck of you, every minute bit of stardust that makes you your roots go deeply on this planet. Her energy, her magnetism pulses through you. Feel that. Pulsing up, pulsing up, pulsing up. And as you feel this, hold space for her. She is holding you. She provides everything you need to survive. Everything you need. Nothing man-made can be possible without her first providing the resources. So she's reminding you you are sacred and your use of the resources is as well. They are not to be squandered. For what is gone will not ever return. But no, something different will be in its place. It's up to you, it's up to all of us and how we take care of our bodies, our spirit, our homes, our loved ones, our government officials, and our communities. That's all sacred. And until we start treating it all like it is sacred, like it is holy and needs to be revered. We will be stuck in this place of kind of a darkness. It's not really dark. It's just stagnant. I don't know about you. I want to progress on. I want to move on. I want to see what the newness is out there. So, the valley obstacle is, 
We aren't holding ourselves sacred. We aren't holding each other as sacred. We're too busy comparing each other and uh, using that to build ourselves into a false sense of confidence. Humble pie can be a very bitter bite. We're about to eat a lot of humble pie unless we start treating the things that we hold dear as sacred. Stop taking what you love for granted. Nothing that you have created is eternal. It comes and it goes. And yes, you are the creator of your life. It's you that says whether this planet survives or not. But you see, this planet will survive. It will not end up like Mars. Because the spirit of this planet is strong and will not let that happen. She will eliminate the weaponer and the weapon to silence the weapon. Gaia, what do you want us to know about the mountain obstacle? <laughs> How do we get to the top so that we can scream at the top of our lungs the solution? And to not be afraid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. This is coming to us from the fairies this week. We have the hummingbird and the flower. That hummingbird doesn't stop and pause going from flower to flower going, Oh, I wonder if that flower has enough nectar for me. Or should I wait for the next one? It goes and gets what it can, when it can. And then it's very grateful for the boost of energy that it gets in the abundance of what it got so that it can move on to the next one that might have more nectar in it. This card is telling us to live in appreciation for what we have and moreover for the good things that will come to us. Yeah, we're kind of in a low, dark place. But you know what? Be grateful for that too. Because when you're in the dark spot, you see the light really, really brightly. It's a lot easier to see the light actually when it's when you're immersed in darkness. Just the slightest little bit of light changes everything when you're immersed in darkness. There's an affirmation that goes with this card that I want you guys to, this is our 369. And I want you to do, tell yourself three times in the morning, six times midday, and nine times when you close your day. Today I will let kindness grow in me. I will focus on being grateful. I am grateful for my bed, the roof over my head, running water, my clothes, my shoes, my friends, and my country. I give thanks for the birds, the grass, the trees, and the flowers. I will say thank you, thank you, and again, thank you, and my life will blossom and be filled with joy. That joy will lift you up and out of the lower world. Now, wow. 
There's definitely a message from spirit in all of this. I'm hearing a lot about fear and overcoming fear, being teachable, being adaptable, watching out for betrayal, um, being wise with your money, learning to be wise with the abundance that's coming in because of your so much gratitude. A lot coming at us the next six months, beginning this month in July, this first week in July. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Spirit. Let's find out what your message is, Spirit. We'll start, this is my deck. We'll start with deck one, which is the, the one word focus of our dark night of the soul or what we're supposed to work on this week. Oh, that card is out of place. Okay, Spirit has three action cards for us. Not a single, not one card to focus on. The card that Spirit's wanting us to focus on is how to, we gotta learn how to fly. You gotta learn how to do this all on your own. So that you can help the community. So that when community reaches out to you, you're a part of it. Okay? When a member of the community needs you, you need to know how to learn to fly so that you can get what that person needs. So that you can assist what that person is asking you for. <clears throat> how do we do that? We do that, we learn. Learning to fly is completely trust-based, okay? You have to trust the universe. You have to trust your choices. You have to trust those around you. You have to trust the community. You have to trust spirit that you got the message right because you know spirit will clarify it if you got it wrong. <laughs> And in learning to fly, you find your confidence. And you find all of that through truly being filled and loving. Know and understand <clears throat> that the source loves us. The source, source is nothing but love energy. And it never ends. Just like a true, honest, complete love story. Of the person that you are with through incarnation after incarnation after incarnation. That person changes, and so do you in each incarnation. But that person is with you in every one. And finally, what do we need to know? The universe has your back. Trust it. Don't be afraid. The universe has your back. You may be down here in the darkness, but look what's up ahead of you. Stop looking down and look up. Look up. Keep looking up as the flow starts to encompass and submerge and engulf you. For that flow it's what you are a part of. As I keep hearing this over and over this week, as you, the um, lyrics, there's lyrics to the song by Kansas, Dust in the Wind. I keep hearing over and over again, and it has to do with flow. All we are 
is a drop of water in an endless sea. Why are we so afraid? Why are we so filled with fear and obstacles and resistance? Go with the flow. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. What do we need to know to send us on our way? Little therapy card, little inspiration card as we go through this period of a dark night of the soul. Learning how to deal with the abundance that's getting ready to land in our laps. It's going to be huge. Start being grateful for it now because you're not going to believe what's headed our way. Now, Yes, here you go. You're going, you are doing enough. And it's going to be okay. You know, if you need to rest, rest. If you need to take a breather, take a breather. If you want to go for a walk, go for a walk. You need a moment to yourself. Take it. Take it. It's a part of knowing that you are sacred. You are sacred. Never forget that. I love you. Be kind to one another. I thank you so very much for being here and taking part in this re reading. Do you see now what the balance is in our horizon? in the awareness of our horizon. It's in finding community. Stopping betrayal and climbing towards enlightenment so that we can be the teachers of those who are following behind. Be kind to yourself for you are sacred. And I love you so, so much. We'll see you next time. Thank you for being here. Goodbye.